Hi, Corey Anson with Diversity. What we're going to cover here is testing your quad sanitizer. So we want to make sure that we have a good usable solution in our facility. When we test the quad sanitizer, first of all, we want to make sure that we have plenty of product and it's hooked up the dispenser. The next thing you want to do is you want to check your test strips. All of your test strips do have an expiration date on it, so make sure that your test strips are within date. If they are out of date, then we need to discard those and get a fresh roll of test strips. Uh, if the test strips look like they've been exposed to moisture, they're swollen or discolored, that means probably someone has dropped them into the sink or they got you know just damp over time. When they get wet, they're no longer good. So we need to make sure that we have in-date test strips and that they've not gotten wet. So what I want to do is fill up my sink with the sanitizer solution. And I can test either in the sink or I could test in the sanitizer bucket, whatever is the easiest thing for you to do. Um, know that in this process, temperature does have a factor. So refer back to your chart and make sure that your water temperature is correct. It's not the sanitizer that it's affected, but it's the test strip that's affected by water temperature. So we want to be in that temperature range and the temperature range is right on the test file. So I'll take a one to two inch piece of test strip and I want to dip it into my solution for 10 seconds. And then after I've dipped it in the solution for 10 seconds, I immediately want to compare it to the color chart on the vial. Here I've got a solution that's running right between two and 400 parts per million. So this is good. I'm ready to go. I can discard the test strip, put my roll of test strips back in the holder or wherever you store them and I'm ready to go. Uh, a couple other things to make sure is I mentioned temperature, making sure we're in the right temperature range and when you fill your sink up or your container that you're going to test out of, let the foam dissipate. If we test through foam, it can throw off your reading a little bit. So just to recap, make sure that we have product hooked up, that our uh, sink is filled with sanitizer at the right water temperature, and that we don't test through foam. You hold the test strip in the solution for 10 seconds. Still, we don't want to swirl it around in the solution. You just go straight in count to 10 and pull it out and then immediately check it and you want to immediately compare it because once the test strip has been exposed to quat it will continue to darken over time and then eventually as it dries out the color goes back to what it was when it was dry so there's your procedures for testing quat sanitizer if you have any questions or need service please call us at 800-558-2332 thank you